Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the Langrag, uh, not Langrab, but the Langrag <laughs> family. Um, it is in this household. Uh, here you can see it's the De La Rosa household. Um, so let's go into the family so I can talk about them. So here we have the De La Rosa household, but um, the name should more be more like be uh, Langrag. Uh, because that's the family name of everyone here. But that's De La Rosa is the name I kept forgetting because here we have Noah before De La Rosa. Um, and he lived here with his mom Florence De La Rosa, who was his mom. And um, his dad is Chester Geek. Um, as you can see, he has a sister, which is more like a half-sister, because she is an alien, um, because he, her dad got abducted. But you can see he's still alive, so when I get to him, I can tell you a little bit more about that. Sadly, Florence uh, died, um, and she died without ever getting married. Um, she had a, a little bit of flirts here then and there, but I think she waited for Chester to pop the big question, but he never did. Um, so she just died without uh, getting married. But in the end, and Noah was the only man for her, if you can say it like that. Uh, she really loved his son, uh, her son. So I feel like for her that he was the most important uh, anyway. So it was okay. Um, other than nowhere, we have uh, Skyla Langrag. Um, she is uh, Kaylin's first um, child, um, and it's the child uh, between Kaylin and Daniel. It's a child that Daniel knows exists, um, but he doesn't haven't tell, told anyone about her. Um, he gave a little bit of child support here and there, but nothing big. He kind of just sweeped it under the rock uh, because he didn't wanted to ruin his um, marriage with Mary Sue too much. Uh, this, of course, really hurt Kaylin because Kaylin really wanted to marry him. Um, but yeah, Kaylin was not the most a lucky person at that, at that point, at least. Uh, but they got Skylar, um, and Skylar uh, and Noah got married, um, and she moved in with him because she was living at home with her mom. Um, they got a daughter together, Claire, and then uh, Kia um, is their youngest daughter. So let's look into the family. So let's start with uh, Skylar Lankara. Um, I have a bio for her here. I think we could s start with that. Uh, already in Skylar's teen years, she found out how men was cheating bastards. <laughs> she never really got to know her dad because, well, she was an accident from, from cheating. And of course, her first ever love cheated on her. Skylar were sure she never found true love and would go her days alone. Uh, but after some poking around, her final... She finally found love. Um, will it last, or will it, it, or will the cheating keep showing up, uh, show its its ugly face? Um, Skylar is the daughter of uh, Caitlin and Daniel, so she from the start kind of have this hateful relationship to men, um, because she felt like they were just cheaters, <laughs> um. And even though, oh, uh, in her teen in her teenage years, uh, I feel like she were me more happy with having friends. She was super good friends with uh, Cynthia in the beginning. She was also really good friends with Carter. Um, she was so so good friends with Carter that that they had their first kiss kiss with each other, and she even fell in love. They ended up going steady uh, 
and I was surprised that he said yes to that, um, but he did. Um, and she was kind of just living her life and having fun with with him, and she also got to be uh, really good friends with Carly. Um, but in the same time, she was really good friends with Carly shortly after after she found out that Carter was cheating on her. Um, she got super mad. He cheated on her with a townie, it looks like. Um, so she pushed him away because cheating was, of course, her big wound because his her dad was a cheating, um, yeah, bastard. <laughs> um... And she ended up, after thinking a little bit about it, actually breaking up with him. Uh, because she she just couldn't go on knowing that he had kissed another girl. And she didn't want to be in that relationship. Um, it apparently happened after Daniel died. But I feel like she wouldn't have known because she didn't really have anything to do with him. Um, at that point, Shiloh, her half-sister, got born. Um, and her mother was really close to dying because of that but luckily Skylar could uh, plead for for her mother's life and the Grim Reaper uh, Lord, uh, would let uh, Caitlin live um, which was really good because at that point I think uh, yeah a completely new baby and Skylar was just a teen so how should he she yeah she couldn't <laughs> she couldn't take over that responsibility um she shortly after went to college I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna make sure um no yeah moved out yeah she went to college um and she did really good in college, for what I remember. Um, yep, she did. She even changed her aspiration. I think she was knowledge before. Um, yep, and now she's family. I guess in college she had this feeling uh, after meeting Noah and falling in love with him that maybe there could be some something about men and falling in love maybe it could end well at some point um and she kind of wanted that family and maybe she could have a family with kids that actually had both of their parents around um so she ended up um changing her mind about family and being a family sim instead um her and Noah, of course, woohooed and got, went on dates, and they were happy. Um, I guess she was living in an apartment. Yeah, I think after college she moved in an apartment, and she was not happy with this townie, Andrea. <laughs> um, but that's fine. Um, oh yeah, that's true. Um, I forgot, and that was because I forgot to write it in my <laughs> in my spreadsheet um, that she had found a Noah. That's what happens. You forget whatever pe the Sims are up to when you have so many families. But oh well. <laughs> um, after I feel like she really liked Noah, um, but because she wasn't sure that things would go would go go well i i feel like she maybe got cold feet because she didn't want to get hurt and just think if he cheated on her or something like that um so she went out with mike uh tinker and they actually had a really good time a really good um uh good date and they were kissing and woohooing but but it was just not the same for her she didn't have that really good feeling that she had with Noah, um, so she ended up being engaged with Noah. I think Noah asked her, and I don't think Noah knows that she have been going out before they went steady. Um, not that it matters, but I feel like he just liked her, and when he asked her, he was she was like, "Well, this is getting serious, right?" Um, so yeah. 
they got engaged and they got their first uh, kid, uh, Claire. And then they got married and she moved in in the in this house. <laughs> um, she was living in the small apartment before that, so I, I feel like it was a good time for her to move in. Um, and uh, not long too long after they get got Kia, their second child. Um, uh, when did? Florence die though. Maybe she doesn't remember that. Uh, I feel like we will see that in Noah's uh, memories. But yeah, they got here and um, and now they're just here and being happy. Uh, having a good time. So yeah, I, I think I will tell you a little bit about Noah. So here we have Noah. Um, he oh I even gave him a bio. Um, the thing is I don't think he ever really got to know his dad. No. Um, after <laughs> because Florencia just waited for Chester to propose. Uh, I guess no one ever met his dad in the end because um, Florence just oh, she only visited Chester. Um, and so Chester often called her. I guess that's also the reason Chester never act actually asked Florence because why should he when she never invited him over? Um, I don't even know if Chester knows that Noah exists. Um, but yeah, um, he at least knows his sister is existing. The question is if he knows he's she is his sister. <laughs> I guess they maybe have talked about who their dad is and, and he found out that way, maybe. Um, because I for sure feel like uh, Florence uh, would have told Noah about Chester. But yeah, you can see uh, Noah, he is really neat, he is really shy, he's lazy, he's playful and really really nice. Uh, in his bio it says, um, Noah had a hard time finding himself. He tried making friends, but being at home with his mom just worked better for him. Uh, that meant the love was hard for him to find. That love was hard for him to understand because no one was better than his mom. Even though he went, went steady, steady with the goth girl, it just didn't seem right. Uh, and the goth girl, that's Alexa. Um... Now he found Skylar, uh, a broken girl from a broken home. Can he fix her? Will she, uh, or will, and will she keep trusting him? Uh, I feel like he always just was so happy with his mom, and he didn't really have a lot of other people around her. Uh, him, um, of course. Uh, of course he had some friends and some some people around him he lo liked but it wasn't like his mom was the most important person in his life um in his teen in his teen years it seems like he had tried to dabble in a little bit into romance but nothing big um and there he of course uh, fell in love with alexa um who he also uh, went steady with and they were both sure that they would be together um, through life <laughs> um, but in college uh, he met Skylar and as soon he met her it was like uh, Alexa didn't exist anymore he just really fell for, for Skylar a lot um, and he really really liked her um, and wanted to be the man that she deserves. Um, so when he moved back home, he couldn't f forget about her. Um, so they went out and and went on dates and and stuff like that. And shortly after, he he proposed because he just couldn't see how it could be any other way. <laughs> um, and after the proposal, she also found out that she was pregnant uh, with their with their first a baby girl um, and shortly after they got married um, sadly 
not long after the marriage, her his mom died, which was a really hard thing for him because his mom was again the most important person in his life. Um, but at least he had Skylar around her, him, um, and she was really good at uh, consoling him and being there for him and just letting him do what he needed to do. Um, and I think that was enough for him to accept that his mom died. Um, and now he had a new most important person in his life, and that was Skylar. And of course, his two uh, kids. Um, shortly after, he got the second kid. And you can see he already wants one more, typically, typically family sim. Um, he got fired though, so I think he might need to wait a little bit with that third kid uh, because they are both unemployed uh, and that money is not gonna keep uh, being there if they don't get a, a job. But yeah, that's Noah. And then we have Claire. Um, Claire just uh, got to be a teenager, um, so we don't know a lot about her. Other than she is very, very neat, she is slobby, she's lazy, she's uh, quite playful and very nice. Um, she already have had her first kiss with Yvonne. Um, I haven't necessarily been telling if sims were bi or gay or straight. Uh, because I haven't thought about it. <laughs> but both Skyla... Um, Claire's mom and Claire herself uh, is both bi um, and as you can see uh, Claire went on a date um, with Yvonne uh, and they had a kiss but nothing more than that happened um, and because she's just uh, a teenager now there hasn't happened a lot of other stuff than that um, so yeah you have seen Claire, and we will see what happens with her in the future. And last but not least, we have Kia. Um, she is very much like her sister. <laughs> the only difference is one point in... Mm, she is one point more playful than his, her sister. Um, that's kind of interesting. Oh, he, she is completely the same as her dad. Oh, that's interesting. And her mom is the grouchy one. <laughs> that makes sense if you think about the bios. Um, but yeah, she's just a happy-go-lucky little child. Uh, nothing much has happened. She hasn't. She doesn't have any negative uh, memories at all yet. Uh, so there's not a lot to tell about her because she's so young. Um, she just grew up to a child. Uh, but I feel like she would have a Oh no, she doesn't really have a good relationship with anyone besides her mom. Okay, and there's time for that to, to change. Uh, she already have a friend though in Cameron. Um, so yeah, that's Kia. And uh, that is the Langrak family, uh, Schles uh, de la Rosa. <laughs> um, as you can see, I have removed the flower store part uh, because I feel like Noah isn't really interested in interested in flowers, but he's really interested in robots. So he is gonna open a robot store um, when he has made more robots and there's enough for people to buy. Um, the house pretty much looks like itself, uh, just with two extra bedrooms. So there is actually space for the kids. Um, so yeah, uh, I feel like this family is one of the more relaxed families. Um, of course, we have Skyla that is a little bit more uh, dramatic in some ways, but I feel like uh, her relationship with Noah is going to make her more... Um, down to earth and hopefully more trusting in people. Um, so yeah, we will see what happens. And that was the Langrag family. Um, <laughs> I I'm happy that I have decided to to part this all these videos up in families because it's 
it, I can see that the episodes are getting quite long sometimes. Um, but I hope you still enjoy to watch it and enjoy the stories and families. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!